Hi YouTube, this is Ashley Ashlock. I'm checking in with you guys. I will be 23 months locked tomorrow. 23, 23. So I am almost at the two years of being locked. And look at me now. 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 Look at me lock now. Look at me lock now. Look at me now. Look at me now. Yeah. Okay, so I am 23 months locked and I wanted to check in to let you know my lock routine. Now I'm kind of like comfortable with my lock routine I've been handling with now. And so at 23 months lock, I am back on track to washing my locks on a weekly basis. And if I feel like something comes up in the middle of the week, I will do a midweek wash, which means two washing. And with my wash, I do a double wash in the shower. Um, I do not use any conditioner, but once I am out and I use a t-shirt to dry my hair I spray this bad put this bad boy on it so this is the OGX coconut miracle oil bam um, so yeah I take it put it in my hand rub it all through all my locks apply it in my hand twice and rub it all through all my locks focusing on the ends making sure I got my roots and I make sure I part my hair for the day on whatever way I want to have my hair parted. So yeah, that's what I do um, after my wash. And then every day I... Hang on. I'm doing a video. <laughs> you can leave it right here. You want to say hi? Come say hi. You gonna leave him on? Hi. Say hey. He's so handsome. I almost had locked his hair up again, but he wouldn't let me. He's not ready to come over to the good side. Come over. <laughs> okay. Um, so go back upstairs and I'll um call you when I'm done checking it. So um sorry about that, you guys. He's doing homework. So how I maintain my hair on a daily basis after I wash my hair, I apply this leave-in conditioner. I have tried multiple leave-in spray conditioners. I do not apply leave. I do not apply leave-in conditioner or even regular conditioner on my hair after my shampoos. I only apply a leave-in conditioner, um, like a spray, just like a mist. I apply that on my hair sometimes twice a day most times once because in the evenings I just really just like throw a cap on and go on to bed um, but some nights I will take the time and spray it so I do that on a daily basis when I'm not washing my hair um, and I know this it doesn't make my hair dry or anything I've tried other ones and I can kind of feel like the um, it didn't really work for my hair but this one the Alakai Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner. I love it. Like, I found it on sale recently and ordered, like, 10 bottles. Yeah, I was kind of like, okay, I'm stocked up for 2020. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that is what I use. And then I oil my scalp um, once, if it's really, really dry, twice a week. So, in between the middle of wash day, I middle of the week. I will oil my scalp. I go through each individual one. I am using, um, what's that? It's like one of the growing ones, like something with the word grow in it. But I really am not, I just, whatever oil has an easy applicator, I use that. But in my weeks when I'm just like really dry with, um, and needing to put oil twice a week, I'll use castor oil and like, you know, like, okay, now you are 
really oil down because the castor oil is very thick otherwise um, yeah that's what I'm doing and I tie my hair up at night um, spray my hair every day with the leave-in conditioner I do not have any buildup with it as you can see maybe you can't see but yeah no it's not creating any buildup um, it's not having any flakes or anything yeah well, it is working out just right and okay so in the last year I twisted my hair I know for sure twice possibly a third time I'm not exactly sure about that third time I don't really remember but I know that I did um, twist my hair at least two times and so far last year I know that when it was close to my lock anniversary which it will be next month um, I had wanted to twist my hair like I felt like you know how you want to get glamorous and like oh let me twist my hair but I do not have that urge this year like you know I'm at that comfort zone my locks are nourishing and then I know that the moment I because I'm so on this routine of washing my hair on a weekly basis that my twist is not gonna last over a week because I'm going to wash my hair so I figured I'm just wasting my time. These twists are wait, and then they don't stay. I know it's probably because I'm not training my hair. Um, some are staying, but my thicker locks don't stay. And yeah, this is my new girl. Grow, baby, grow, grow, baby, grow. Here's in my scalp. My locks, my locks, my locks. So what I did do? I know I had. A bunch of two-headed dragons, um, probably like five. Now I'm down to two. I only have two. The two are all the way at the end. And that's because I feel it was easier for me to just go ahead and um, fix it back with the needle. Or At first I had some, I was trying to do rubber bands, like make it stay with rubber bands on the um, around the edge of, but it was just taking too long and I'm like okay I didn't really want to have a revenge style so you can see look at my hair has all these like bumps and stuff you can see my two strand twist in it yeah this one you can really see my two strand twist yeah and I know a lot of that is from me combining that's why if anyone ever says they want to combine I tell them do it now the quicker you combine um you will you have a lower chance you risk a lower risk of the two strand twin twist lasting i do not think some of these twists will ever go away and that's fine you know they are solid here's another that has like a random twist in the center i don't know if you can see yeah, my little giant bulbs, which it's, they're kind of annoying, <laughs> to be honest with you guys, they're kind of annoying, and that's because I like my lock jewelry, like, I feel like I'm limited on, and I, mind you, I only use the sterling silver lock jewelry, jewelry, so I can keep them on when I wash my hair, but although many of my locks may be you know they probably would fit the jewelry they have like a thick hump that is almost impossible to get over so and I'm not going to like shove it up the lock because I don't want to um, damage my lock but it is just like man if this was smooth then I can put the thing on but I guess that's part of my oh yeah 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 this one down here I don't know what's going on here. Um, I forgot what I did. I know that I did something. I was playing with it. And then I like opened it up. I'm like, okay. But then I was like, okay, maybe my little curl pattern will come. But no. I did have like, I do have like a couple that have the curl pattern. Well, I think that was it. Where'd it go? But yeah, for the most part, um, here's one that has a little curl. Oh, that little cute little curl. But yeah. Most of my hair in the front never curled, so I don't 
oh, don't know why I was expecting for it to curl. Most of them don't. But I just like, I fear that's going to be a little miniature two head dragon that's going deep at the end. So that may be what the outcome is. We'll see. I do try to like twist it and get it back. Like, no, stay together, stay together. We shall see. Okay, let me give you guys another view of my hair. My locks, the locks, the locks. My locks. 23 months, 23 months. Now you can go back and check out my, I believe I have a one week lock journey. Um, the, that's when I started and I'm just like, wow, these things have came so far. Like legit, like, wow. Yep, 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 yep. So this is Ashley Ashlock checking in with her 20 three month lock pace